start the fingers we're going to start with a pot and to that pot I'm going to add in some finely shredded coconut and I left the brown skin that the kernel has I left that on it you're just going to put it in your pot to the coconut I'm going in with some water some sugar and you could put as much or as little sugar you want some cinnamon nutmeg and some mixed essence or vanilla essence or vanilla extract if you were using vanilla extract you would want to use half of the amount of essence so I'm gonna put this up on medium heat and allow it to cook the coconut is going to cook and all of those flavors are in going to infuse into the coconut and once it thickens up and that water dries out then we'll add our food coloring to finish this now I'm adding food coloring but if you wanted a natural way of adding color to this you can add some beetroot juice that's a really good food coloring alternative also so you see how it has started to cook down we want all of that liquid in there to evaporate okay now that the liquid has started to dry up I'm gonna go in with my food coloring and I'm using red food coloring for this and I'm going to add a little at a time until I get the desired color that I want if you don't have red and you have pink you can use that also and this actually looks really good like I don't need to add any more coloring if you wanted a deeper red then you would add more so all I'm going to do now is finish mix this in and set this aside to cool down okay so now for part two of this recipe and we're gonna mix our dry ingredients first to make our dough so here I have flour I'm using bread flour if you cannot find bread flour please feel free to use all-purpose flour so to this I'm going in with some baking powder I'm going in with some wheat gluten now you will find this on my Amazon store and the link to my Amazon store is down in my description box so just look through the store and you'll find this or you can search for it I'm adding this but if you guys don't have this it is optional you'll need some salt and all you want to do is just incorporate those dry ingredients evenly and set this aside so here I have some water to the water I'm gonna add in some sugar and the sugar is gonna help feed that yeast so that it blooms now I'm using dry active yeast and although I'm using dry active or instant yeast I still like doing this step so you're just gonna add that in and give this a mix now make sure that your water is lukewarm not cold not hot you do not want to kill the yeast and just set this aside to bloom okay now let's finish the dough so to a bowl I'm gonna go in with some melted butter you want to make sure the butter is very soft or at room temperature I'm going to go in with the rest of the sugar next you want to mix cream that butter and that sugar okay to the creamed butter and sugar you're going to go in with the eggs and if you're using a large egg please use one I'm using two small eggs okay now we're going to go in with the yeast mixture and look how nice and frothy that looks I'm just gonna mix it and pour it in that's what you want you want that yeast to froth up and bloom it actually helps to help this mixture the dough mixture to come together really quickly and you're going to mix this in next I'm going to go in with my milk now I'm going to go in with a few drops of yellow food coloring but if you wanted to omit the food coloring you can Okay, now I'm going to add my flour to my wet ingredients and I'm going to add a little at a time and mix it in. 
and I'm using my Danish dough hook to mix this and if you guys are interested in getting one of this it's also available on my Amazon store Now once the dough starts to pull together, you'll need to use your hands. So I'm going to add in the rest of the dry ingredients. And I'm going to go in and knead this. Now once the dough comes together, you're going to continue kneading it until it's very, very smooth. It may take about 8 to 10 minutes. So guys, can you see how smooth this dough is? And when you press on it, it would, should spring back on you. So what you have to do is let it rest for five minutes before rolling it out. Now I did let mine rest. So the next step is sprinkling your surface with some dry flour. And if you wanted to cut this dough into a half, you can. And I'm going to open out this dough. I'm going to open it out and we're going to roll it out to about a half of an inch thickness. Next, we're going to transfer this onto our baking tray. Now, if you notice, I didn't put the entire thing on the tray. Reason being is because the top side is going to be folded over to help us create those fingers. So this is how you want to put it. Now you're going to take your filling and fill it on this half of the dough. Okay, now you're going to bring the other half of the dough over. And now to make the fingers and what you have to do is take a knife or a cookie cutter and you're going to cut these. And this is what makes the finger. Now you're going to cover these with a light tea towel and allow them to sit and rest for about 15 minutes. They will double in size. Then we will put them in our oven to bake at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for about 20 to 30 minutes. So the fingers have rested for about 10 minutes. I'm now going to place them in the oven to bake. So guys, the fingers just came out of the oven. I just need them to cool down before I can break one off to show you guys what it looks like. Now to make the sugar syrup that we're going to glaze the turnovers or the fingers with. And in this pot I have water and I'm adding in some granulated sugar. We're just going to allow it to come up to a boil and we're going to allow this water to thicken. Once it thickens, I'll cool it down a little bit and then we can glaze our turnovers or fingers. Next, you want to take that syrup and brush it onto the fingers or the turnovers. It's going to create a really beautiful, sweet glaze and it's going to look extra shiny when it's finished. Can you guys see that? It looks absolutely beautiful. It's really, really pretty. The yellow against that red, it's really, really pretty. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe. I did this one especially for you all to make for your mom on Mother's Day. So, if you, hey guys, so I hope you guys enjoyed today's recipe. If you did, please remember to give the video a thumbs up and to share it with your friends. If you're new to my channel and you like what you see, I hope you subscribe. Hit the bell next to the subscribe button so you'll be notified every time I post a new video. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you all another day with another one of my videos. Enjoy! Oh, 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 oh,